hey, it's I don't know what's Orson. This is my artisan workshop guide. In this video, I will show you how to train smithing very fast by making ceremonial swords. They give the best experience per hour for smithing and they are quite cheap. The only requirement you need for this method is to have level 85 smithing if you want to make adamant swords or level 80 if you want to make mithril swords. The Artisan Workshop is located in Falador, and the fastest way to get there is to use Teleport to Falador spell or use the Teletap. For this method you will need a ton of coal and either adamant ore or mithril ores, depending on the type of sword you're making. You will also need a Falador Teleport. You will need 150 coal for every 25 adamant ores you have, or you will need 125 coal for every 30 mithril ores you have. When playing this minigame you will get experience by replicating a sword. And to do this you will have to follow 6 steps. First you will use your ores on the smelter, then withdraw in God's spore before smelting them. After that you will get a sword plan from art cell and then smith the sword. This is the longest and hardest part. Finally, you will get your score from Art Cell and get experience. When you will try to smith the sword, a little interface will pop up. In the top of this interface is your sword plan. And in the bottom one, it's your current sword that you're smithing. Your goal is to match the top numbers with the bottom ones by clicking the little hammer icons. And every time you will click them, the little number will increase by a certain amount. And this amount depends on the type of eating. For example, hard, medium, soft, or careful. Every time you hit the sword, the cooldown number decreases by 1 or 2 if you use the careful option. And when the cooldown number reaches 0, you cannot smith it anymore. Be aware that if the number for the blade is more than 6 or 8 for the dip, the sword will break and you will get no experience at all. The strategy while smithing the sword is quite simple. When you need to increase the number by 4 or more anywhere, you use the ORD option. When it's by 3, anywhere you use the medium option. And when it's the tip of the sword and you're level 99, and you only need to increase it by 1, you will use the soft option because you're sure to only hit 1 or 0. So you're sure to not break the sword. However, if you're not level 99, you will have to use the careful option so you're 100% sure that you will not break the sword and lose all your experience. And for the rest of the blade, you simply use the soft option, no matter what your level is. If you need to increase the number by 2 and it's the tip, you will use the soft option. And finally, if it's the blade, you will need to think a little bit above it. Because if you have a lot of cooldown left, you can use the soft option, which is safer. But if you don't have a lot of cooldown left, you will have to use the medium, which can be a little bit risky because you could overdent the sword. This is the it percentage list from RuneScape Wikia. Keep in mind that this is only an estimation and the result can vary depending on your smithing level. When you enter the artisan workshop, take tongs and a hammer. After that, use the ores on the smelter, then redraw the ingots four. You want to redraw 26 of them. So you only have one spot left in your inventory for the sword plan. So use your adamant ingots 4 on the furnace to smelt them into heated adamant ingots and that, then get a sword plan from Eagle. Now we are ready to smith the sword, so I will click the smith option on the anvil and the interface will pop up. So this is the model on the top and the sword is on the bottom. So I will not choose the careful, not the soft, the medium, but I will always start with the art option. And I will hit every spot that I need to increase by 4 or more. So the tip for example. So I click on the little hammer icon to increase the number and now I'm 8. So I'm perfect. The top numbers match with the bottom numbers so it's alright. So now I will click every other spot that I need to increase by 4. So this one, this one, and the last one. 
as you can see the number you will increase it really depends on luck so sometimes it's two three or four now we will go for medium for every spot that I need to increase by three and now I will go with the soft for every spot that I need to increase by one since I'm level 99 in smithing all, every time I hit with a soft it only increased by one. Okay, for the last spot, I need to increase it by two. So I will need to look out with my cooldown. I see that I got a lot of them left, so I can use the soft option. If I didn't have many cooldown, I should have used the medium option. Now I can simply get score and get experience. If you want to get your ores back, you can use the adamant ingots eaten on the water cooler near the smelter, and they will cool them down. Once they are cooled down, you can use them on the smelter to return them and then you will be able to withdraw the ores. Okay, so let's talk about the rewards now. So when you get your score from Egil, it will rate your sword and give you a experience percentage. If you make a perfect sword, which means that all the numbers from your plan match with your own sword, and you will get a 120% bonus experience, which is 6,900 experience. However, if one of the numbers doesn't match, then you will only get a 98% bonus experience. And if two numbers don't match, it's only 95% experience. Assuming that you make a sword every 1 minute and 15 seconds, which is 48 per hour, at level 99 you should get 316k experience per hour at only 12 GP per experience. This means that to get level 99 from level 85, it should only take you 32 hours and cost 120 mils. Okay, so this is the same sheet, but for Mithril Ceremonial Sword. So as you can see, the experience per hour is a little bit slower, but it's still very decent at 250k experience per hour. But the cost is nearly the half of the adamant ceremonial sports. For level 99 from 85, it should take you 40 hours at 66 mils. Let's compare the adamant ceremonial sword with the metro one and the famous adamant bodies with a stroll of efficiency. As you can see, even if they are more popular, the adamant bodies method is slower and even more expensive than the two other methods. Therefore, they are never the best to use. Now if you compare the two ceremonial swords method, you will find out that if your time is worth less than 6 of 5 million GP per hour, the mithril ceremonial swords method is better than the other one. By getting experience in the Artisan Workshop minigame, you will also get a special reward called Respect. The Respect is used to buy rewards from Elof, but seriously none of them are good or only aesthetical or they only give experience for another activity in the artisan workshop. However, if you plan to get a trimmed complete Shenish cape, then you should get all the rewards because it's a requirement for the cape. In this short clip, I managed to get 3030k experience per hour by making a sword every 1 minute and 12 seconds and getting 6600 experience per sword. Trying to match the numbers perfectly is important, but focus also on your time. For example, as soon as you overdent one of the sword, then don't be afraid to take risks, because the worst that can happen is like losing 5% experience, but saving 20% time. Trans